All right, we're back with another fresh fit, fresh and f- fresh and what do you call them? Fresh and fit, right? Yeah, fresh and fit comment reaction. Uh, fresh and fit, the channel is a gift that keeps giving. Okay, sorry, excuse me with the noise. It's a it's a gift that keeps giving in the sense that uh, this guy has a lot to learn about life, uh, and I'm talking about. What's his name? Marion? I think it's Marion, yes. I think so, right? Yeah, Marion, right? He has a lot to learn about life. He knows a lot of theoretical stuff. He's a very, very smart guy, I must say. The books, he knows He knows it all. He's a very smart guy. And I know a lot of smart guys that are not the wisest, right? So when it comes to facts, you can't beat them, okay? Um, that was my first impression of Kevin Samuels, but he's actually proved me wrong in just a few weeks uh, Because I've seen that's why you have to be patient. That's why as a man you have to be patient That must be a skill set you must have in finite patience because sometimes people will give you the wrong impression And you have to still have room to hear what they're trying to say uh, And then you may just see the other side of them the same thing with Anton Daniels of the Lapif Network um, You hear enough you're like, okay He's a wise guy. He doesn't always get it right because there's no humans that ever get it right. Unlike the red pale rage people try to <laughs> paint that picture, right? So, um, but anyway, uh, Marion from Fresh and Fit uh, fits in that category. Very smart guy, not the very wise guy, okay? I will say this to his face. I mean, this is more or less his face. It's probably, he can probably stumble into this video at some point. Um, but wisdom is a function of time. Sometimes that comes with age, comes with uh, experience, and 2,000 other signals that makes up what you call a wis- wisdom. Wisdom is an ongoing thing. Wisdom is, I don't know it all. There's more to learn about life, right? And uh, this video right here about redhead girl tried to pull a misogyny card on us, okay? So he's not wrong about that. Uh, there's a lot of young women that try to pull misogyny card on every topic oh yeah it's because it's the patriarchy movement it's because of patriarchy right everything is wrong because of patriarchy right everything is just terrible there are women inside of marriage um in fact i'll tell you right now most women in any marriage most women it's their nature to not necessarily admit wrong the way they admit wrong they do admit wrong the way they admit wrong is more so in action especially if they've been with you for a while uh, they will compensate and overcompensate if you're patient They will overcompensate for places where they may have been wrong uh, More than likely not they won't say I'm sorry But what they will do is actually better than I'm sorry. They overcompensate They multiply anything you give them you give them patience. Oh my god. It goes far in terms of the payoff, right? so um this young lady kept trying to tell him um, that he's not called, he said this misogyny, misogynistic traits in what he was saying, which I think anybody with any level of an ounce of wisdom will understand that, yes, when this guy talks, he has all kind of misogynistic traits all over it. What it means, just like in the red pill rage community, right? I said red pill rage, not red pill. Red pill rage, right? It's a difference. If you're actively arguing 24-7, in, uh, in the comment areas on YouTube about red pill, about how women should be held accountable, women are terrible, women are the enemy. If you come off that way, you don't have to say it in words. This is something that Marion doesn't understand. He thinks everything has to be said in words. The reality, since they like to speak so much of reality, is that everything is not gonna be said in words. You have to learn how to read between the lines, always, okay? Um, the girls have misogynistic traits. Anyone with a little small brain with some wisdom would know that. But he kept arguing that you called me a massage, uh, you called me a misogynist, whatever that word is, right? And they basically spent the next one hour arguing with this young lady about how he's not misogyny, uh, he's not mis, he's not what is it again? That you know he's not practicing misogyny, whatever that word is, right? There's also misandry, right? I think, which is uh, a woman that ate men, I think, uh, but. My thing is that when you go watch this video, right, this video is a good, this channel is a good channel because you can learn everything not to do by simply listening to Marion, okay? 
everything not to, as for right now maybe he will evolve to a better uh, version of himself later on and I'm not judging him again uh, I'm just saying there's a lot of smart book smart talks statistics facts and all those things but very little wisdom right since women do this men should do this that's bullshit because you cannot have babies and you can and he he's so smart that he also has an argument against that already too so you don't want to argue with him what i can tell you is that if you're here right now right when a woman calls you misogyny or your actions misogyny or has misogynistic traits in them the best bet is that you listen just listen right what is it that i'm saying that make this lady say i have misogynistic traits that's not the same thing as simping okay that's not the same thing what it means is that you're wiser than everybody else in the room you're receiving more than you're giving out because eventually you pour from an empty cup meaning you're making an ass out of yourself okay now unless this is a YouTube channel for you and you're making money from pushing out misogynistic traits like Marion and fresh and fit are doing then sure be, by all means knock yourself out that may just be your purpose to go all the way left so we can bring things back to center right so let's see here uh let's see in the commentary at first i thought she was ignorant girl unaware of the realities of life and i felt bad but towards the end she came across as a manipulative woman who knows exactly what she's doing see it took you almost an hour to figure that out okay this is the rage okay now nah, bro it's either way mm, you have so you're calling her manipulative ignorant okay so uh there's another topic about is it always women's fault when they is it a man's fault if a woman is manipulative a um, misandrist or or if she act out of place right is it a man's fault just like good bad right and wrong are irrelevant fault guilt blame those things will work against romantic relationships now just out of just for talking purposes on youtube sure you can knock yourself out you could be in a rage all you want but there's a good chance you're going to bring this energy back to your romantic relationship it will work completely against you right the woman is telling you that i didn't call you a misogyny uh what's the word again i didn't i didn't say you're practicing misogyny i said you your words are showing misogynistic traits those are two different things and if a man cannot see those two different things Oh yeah, that speaks a lot to how much of a leader they can be in a re relationship. They can't. You can't be because again, you're looking for a woman to get into a masculine and tell you black and white. You haven't realized that no, a woman is going to be a woman and it's your responsibility to be an adult. I didn't say your fault. I said your responsibility to be, if you want to engage in a relationship with this young lady, it is your responsibility it is absolutely your responsibility to, uh, rea to, to pay attention to the reality of the situation. The reality is not, it's not facts and no feelings. The, re the reality is feelings are 80% and facts 20% in the way things are going to play out. So if you're going to try to discount all of the feelings, it's going to work against you all the time because you're subscribing to that relationship, even if it's just talking terms like this show okay so go watch the video you will see what i'm talking about does anyone know what contempt means learn to pronounce uh the feeling that a person or a thing is beneath see they always pull out the dictionary meanings right the dictionary meanings are not wrong but there's more to life especially when it comes to relationships and it's going to play out when another person means something else but you think they mean something else or you're trying to correct them on the dictionary meaning you completely miss it at that point you actually you lost them you lost them already so this was an interesting video that i watched over the week i thought i'd come here and also had my little two cents so you can this is communication skills everyone likes to talk about communication but this is it playing out right now just people thinking dictionary meanings are are, are, are basically uh communication it's not there's a lot more to communication or let me say precisely effective communication than dictionary meanings that's the difference between a smart person and a wise person a wise person understand the smartness and all that that's the easy part anyone can read up read up a book 
but to be patient enough to listen to other human beings and actually be able to be in a romantic relationship long term oh well, yeah that's where the work is and that's the, what the a lot of people in the red, red pill rage don't want to pay attention to uh, but that's the work that needs to be done and the reward is really great on the other side right how would you like to like a young lady and she actually likes you back <laughs> right and she wants to be with you for the rest of her life and she feels safe that doesn't mean it's all perfect it just means most of the time it's perfect it looks really perfect on the other side on the outside when people look in right hmm. <laughs> Thank you.